So I brought you today not one, but six original Picassos. Originals, drawn by him, painted by him. Well, etchings in a book, but okay. still original etchings. It was put out by a company called the Limited Editions Club. I came into the shop today to sell a book illustrated by Picasso. There are a lot of people that would be interested in buying this. Picasso is the greatest artist of the 20th century. I'm asking $5,000 for the book. This is actually one of the most famous illustrated books in America of the 20th century. The Limited Editions Club tried to marry famous works of literature with famous artists. And they had Picasso illustrate in this book the ancient Greek comedy of Lysistrata by Aristophanes, which is a fabulous play. Lysistrata was to do with the ancient wars between Athens and Sparta, and they had these interminable wars which were completely destroying the ancient world. So Lysistrata decided to get together the ancient women of Greece and withhold sexual privileges from the men as an attempt to get them to end this awful war. Okay, um, pretty cool. And when was this published? In uh, 1934. Even up until that time period, people always wanted etchings because technically they are done in the artist's hand mm -hmm. because it's it's a copper plate that's covered in wax and he draws everything with a pen. Exactly. And then they pour acid on it and it etches it out and that's what they use for the printing plate. These are not the etchings here. These are just these printed in the book. Were these released anywhere else? Uh, no, this was special just for this book of Lysistrata. And his signature is actually at the back. This is the limitation for the book, they call it, showing it's one of 1,500 copies. And then he signed powerfully in this case. Pablo Picasso is widely known as being one of the greatest painters of the 20th century. Everyone knows his name. Weird thing here is we have a book and we have art. What's worth more money? Well, I'm looking for something like five grand for the book. Um, do you mind if I have my art guy look at it? Yeah, no, of course. Um, give me a few minutes. I will get him down here. Perfect. Thanks so much. Chad thinks my best course of action with this book is to cut the illustrations out and sell them separately. But the only way I can know for sure is if I call Rebecca and get her opinion on it. Maybe the book is worth more as a whole. I brought you a book I'm sure you're going to know. I know and love this book. I mean, this is part of a larger 20th century trend, which is really important in books. It's the whole Livre d'Artiste, which is artist books, right? The first was Manet does The Raven in the late 19th century. And then you get this entire trend where great artists are turning to literature. And this, this confluence is a beautiful thing. Um, so what do you think of it? Let me take a quick look at it. All right, limitation page. The glass scene is intact. That's this here, very fragile. So, chemise and slipcase seem to be relatively intact. As far as condition goes, this is a beautiful copy. It's what I would expect, actually, because this was a deluxe production. The outside materials have a little bit more wear because the outside is the first part to receive damage, and that's why it's there in the first place. So, you have an art guy. Um. Well, he told me how much it would be worth if I cut it into pieces. <laughs> I had to cringe, too. Sometimes the pieces are worth more than the whole. From the book perspective, that's heresy. And you kind of fall in between. I fall where the money's at. <laughs> I was just going to say, what do I have to do to convince you not to break it? Well, what's it worth? Well, before I get into that, Rick, you love history, right? Yes. If you take these etchings out of this book, you are destroying a historical artifact. This book by itself, in this condition, I wouldn't hesitate to put it 10,000. Okay. So that's right around the mark of uh, what the uh, art guy said. Is it now? Yeah. Yes. If there's no real difference in price, why destroy history? Why? Um, I'll let you know what happens. Um, I will let you know what this happens. This will be right. the, maybe the last <laughs> See you soon. Bye. This is a great buy for Rick. He should do it. But if I come in and I see that he has cut these up, I am coming for him. So, five grand. We got a deal. You heard Rebecca. She said ten grand. But what about bumping it up a little bit? Bumping it up to what? Six grand. That's a fair number. It's a beautiful book. It's Picasso, one of the great artists of the 20th century. It's going to be out of here in the blink of an eye as a book. You know what? It's a fair price. It really is. Here we go. Yeah. We got a deal. And I'll shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know the procedure. We'll go do some paperwork. I'm settling on $6,000. That's a grand more than I even thought I could get out of the book. So I'm taking it and running.
Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.